Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Tuesday, August 11th, 2020, and I only know that because I'm on vacation this week, which is weird. You should know what day it is when you're actually working, not when you're on vacation. <laughs> so anyway, I hope everyone is doing good. Again, my name is Rose. I like crochet and yarn and beads and stuff like that. Um, so um, I am here today because I went to the stores a couple times and did some retail therapy and I have an Etsy shop update I wanna share with you. I got some happy mail. Um, I got some gifts. Uh, that's a long story. Um, <laughs> I got a Mary Maxim order and I actually totally forgot what I ordered. So we'll check that out together. And I finished a blanket. Um, it was actually a test pattern. So I'm going to show you that too. So before we get started, I want to do a little bit of admin stuff. So um, down in the description box underneath the video, um, you will find links for all kinds of things. Uh, so you will find a link for our Facebook group for this channel. Um, when you go to join that, the, it, there will be three questions that you need to answer. They're really easy, I promise. And you got to join because it's really fun over there. Now, I also have a Facebook page, um, which is only for me to post on um, please feel free to like that page I do post some things on there that come through Instagram so if you're not on Instagram and you want to see what I'm posting on Instagram go over to the Facebook page um, now that's not where you share stuff it's only where I share stuff so if you want to share your stuff which we would love to see your yarn hauls if you know about yarn sales coming up um, all your finished projects your works in progress um, that would be great if you could come and join us over there. Uh, I also have Instagram, I have an Etsy shop, and I think that's it. So let's get started on the retail therapy. <laughs> okay, so I went to Hobby Lobby once, and I went to Michael's twice. So I will show you, um, I was with my mom the other day and there is a Michaels by her house, which is kind of crappy. Like I think all the Michaels I ever go to are kind of crappy with regards to yarn selection. Um, but I went into their clearance section and I found, um, these loops and threads, Barcelona. Uh, they were on clearance for three ninety seven, dollars and I picked up four of them. And I'm not sure what I want to do with it. It's so nice and soft. I'm thinking a blanket if I mix it with something else, the same color. Um, these have 328 yards in it, so it's not quite enough for a full-size blanket, but if I mix it with something else, this could work. And then they had some jewelry on clearance. Um, uh, and I'll show you what I got. Um, I got some bracelets, which I don't wear bracelets, um, but I got these and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them apart and use the beads because uh, I am all about the bling bling and that's a lot of bling bling. <laughs> and then I found some other beads. Uh, some were on clearance and some weren't. Um, these are little bumblebees and they were really popular when I had them up in my Etsy shop before so I want to make some more of those. And then nothing else super exciting so I'm just going to hold up the pile. Um, I've lately been obsessed with beads and making stitch markers. So <laughs> I found all of those at Michael's and they were all on clearance. They didn't have like a clearance tag on it, but it, there was a clearance tag on the shelf and I don't remember how much they were. So those, those two things were my separate Michael's hauls. So then I'm going to show you what I got at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so at Hobby Lobby, um, I usually only buy the charms if they're on sale. And I saw some of these. Um, I think some of them weren't on sale and some of them were, but I had to buy them. I'm going to just show you guys. I can't wait to make, make these into stitch markers. Those are like little aliens. How cute. Little travel um, charms. I got these butterflies, these butterflies. I've had these in my, oops, in my Etsy shop before and I wanted to get them again. I also had these in my Etsy shop, little fish. And I finally got little moons and 
I don't know what those are. Those look like little mermaid skins. <laughs> so anyway, so I got that stuff at Hobby Lobby. Um, the last time I made stitch markers, I actually spent an entire weekend doing it. So I need to make sure I have a weekend where I can sit down and make stitch markers. So that's what I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, that's all the retail therapy I did. So let me show you my Mary Maxim haul. All right, guys, here it is. <laughs> it looks big, but it's really not that big. So um, I don't remember what I got. Let's see. Um, here's the order form. Oh, it does have the prices on here. I think there was like some free shipping sale, which is why I got this. Let me just check here. Um, it was no shipping. Uh, yeah, so I think that's probably why I placed an order. Um, and let's see here. Uh, okay, so it's got prices, so let me show you what I got. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up was this Bernat Handy Crafter, and this I believe is 100% cotton, and this was five at a dollar 69 each um so there's the bag and here is the cotton and honestly it just feels like sugar and cream or lily and cream i was hoping it would be a little bit different but that's okay uh so bernat handicrafter cotton this is from spinrite yarn inspirations the color is called teal it is a number four. They recommend a five millimeter crochet hook. Made in Canada from 100% USA cotton. 1.75 ounces, 50 grams, 84 yards. And so I picked up five of those. I'm thinking of making like a tote bag with that. And then I picked up this uh, mill end bag of cotton and I don't think you could pick your color and this was $9.99 for one pound um, So you guys can see the color. It's really really pretty. So I don't know how much those cones are. Are they like? 16 ounces or 12 ounces and at my Joanne fabrics those are 15 bucks So I thought this was a pretty good deal. So I got this bag for $9.99 All right, so this next thing I got is called prism lakeside and prism iris so i got three of each color and i will just show you the colors that i got so here is what the label looks like these were 4.99 each um they are 100 grams 3.5 ounces 100 percent acrylic 290 yards made in china it's a number three and they do not have a recommended hook size they only have recommended knitting needle sizes which is a four millimeters it says washing instructions on the inside of the label um, the color on this one is called lakeside <clears throat> it kind of reminds me of like landscapes um, or unforgettable with the way it's um it's really soft though you guys so these are like browns browns blues beige and then this color is called iris you guys know I had to get purple right <laughs> for those of you who are new here purple is my favorite color so I got three of each of these I don't know what I'll do with it most likely because these are about 300 yards each 290 I will probably make shawls with these um, so any recommendations on shawls would be appreciated for this type of yarn so that so I got three of each okay so this next thing I got came in a little package uh, like this <laughs> I don't know what I could put in there when I'm done using it um, and it is called Fair Isle Liberty Craft colors okay so let's see what this says on here sorry guys eyeballs uh, it says it contains six 52 yard one ounce balls of yarn 30 gram balls 68 meters it's 100 percent acrylic made in china machine wash warm gentle do not bleach tumble dry it's a number four medium weight yarn it says it's distributed by nq brands in ontario canada and the color on this is 619 new york brights um, I'm not sure where they're getting brights. <laughs> this is not bright at all. It's like blacks and grays and creams, but I really, really like that. 
I don't know what I'll do with this either, but I thought this was really cool. This was only $4.99 for this little container. So I don't know, maybe in a giveaway or something, but I really like it. So let me know what you guys think of this, if you've ever used this before. Um, I, I think it's pretty cool looking. Okay, so the last thing that I picked up, now I, if, if you guys have been around for a while, you know I had an issue with the Furls hooks that I bought, but they were the Odyssey hooks. Um, this was back when the world started getting crazy and I didn't really like the way they felt in my hand. It took me like two months to get them returned. But um, they were having a sale on Mary Maxim for the Furls Streamline hooks. And it looks like and feels like this is going to be a little bit lighter than the Odyssey hooks. So let me just show you what I got. This was $12.99. And um, this is an eye, so a 5.5 millimeter. And I'm going to tell you guys why I was interested in this. So I don't know if you guys see the head on that hook. It looks just like a Susan Bates hook. Um, let's see if I can show you. So I am totally a Susan Bates kind of girl and this really appealed to me because it looks like the head is the same and just holding it in my hand it feels really really light. So I'm pretty excited to um, work with this and see if this is any good and if it is then maybe I'll go and get some more of these. Um, so that was my haul from Mary Maxim. Um, now we have a lot of happy mail. Hang on guys. Okay, so this first box that I got, you guys, um, it's a little tiny box and it's from Rebecca and she is also here on YouTube and her channel name is called Fibergé Crochet and she is very, very talented. Um, I didn't ask her for anything. I originally thought this was something for wings because she's been sending in some things for wings. Um, but when I opened it up, I realized it was not. So I have a little card and it says, hi Rose, I hope this card finds you well. I too am a huge football fan and I am very sad there may not be football this year. So I thought I would make you a Chicago bear. I hope you like him. Hugs from Rebecca Fibergé Crochet. He may be a little squished, so all you do is fluff him up. <laughs> so let me show you guys what she sent. You guys, check him out. Oh my God, is he adorable? Look at the face. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He is wearing Bears colors. Go Bears. Chicago Bears are blue and orange. And he's even got the Chicago Bear logo on him. OMG. Rebecca, where did you find this? This is so cute. If you could please leave a comment down below and let us know like what pattern this is because he is so cool. And you guys, he's actually shaped like a football. How cool is that? <laughs> this is so adorable. Oh my gosh. Rebecca, thank you so much for sending this bear. He is going to sit next to the TV. Maybe when the when um, football starts again, he can be like our little mascot while we watch watch football. So thank you so much, Rebecca. I really appreciate it. He's gorgeous. Thank you. Okay. So this next bag is from Charlie and you guys all know her as have a yarn with Charlie. And for those of you who might remember, not my last two videos, cause my last two videos were wings updates, but the video before that I was talking about how I was trying to finish a glorious granny blanket and I ran out of yarn. Um, and I was asking people if anyone would be willing to check their stash and let me purchase um, the specific colors from Red Heart. One was a ombre yarn called Sweet Treat and the other one was just a purple yarn called Lavender. So when I got this from Have a Yarn with Charlie, I opened it up and you guys, guess what's in here? <laughs> it's a skein of the yarn that I needed. Oh my gosh, Charlie, you're amazing. And she didn't even let me pay. She didn't even tell me because like I would have I would have paid you, Charlie, next time like send me an email and be like, I have some, pay me. <laughs> So anyway, there's a card. She says, Dear Rose, I saw your video and ran to ran to my yarn stash and I yelled, I got one! LOL. Enjoy. Have a yarn with Charlie. 
<laughs> Charlie, you're awesome. Thank you so much. This is definitely going to help with my project. And just so you guys know, it's called Lavender and it's like discontinued. So I so appreciate you running to your stash. And if anyone here ever needs anything, I think you should like send a comment to, like on someone's video and be like, oh my God, I'm looking for this. Or come to the Facebook group and be like, hey, does anyone have this in their stash? I'm looking for it. So Charlie, thank you so much. By the way, you guys, um, for anyone that I mentioned that has a YouTube channel, I will put their link down in the description box down below. So Charlie, thank you so much. Let me know if I can send you anything for this. Okay, now speaking of getting happy mail that you didn't, you didn't ask for. <laughs> okay, so this huge bag is from my dear friend. Her name is Joyce. Now Joyce is, um, Crystal at Bag o Day, it's kind of her right-hand woman. Um, she helped with uh, organize all the retreats and stuff that Crystal had the past couple of years. And um, I made her a blanket and it was awesome meeting her and she's a really, really special person. So um, she told me she had some of that lavender and she was gonna send me some. Dude, this is not just some, okay? So she said to be careful when I was opening the bag because it was gonna pop and let me show you what else she sent, hold on. So here's the card she sent. Oh, Joyce, you're so sweet. And she says, hey, Rose, enclosed you'll find the lavender yarn to finish your project. And I'm also sending you a poncho I made for you. I decided to ship it along with the yarn. Enjoy, love you, Joyce. Uh, P.S. The lavender yarn is a gift as well. Joyce, I was gonna buy it from you. Okay, thank you so much for checking your stash. She sent me two full cakes at, or skeins and then half of another one. So this will totally be enough to finish my project. Then she must have gone through her purples and found this for me and stuffed that in the bag. And then she also found that for me and stuffed that in the bag. And I don't even, this is Verona Shine from Ice Yarns and this is Infinity from Red Heart. Joyce, you totally didn't need to do that. Thank you so much. All right, so you guys wanna see the poncho? Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's all purple. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. It is so pretty. Seriously, Joyce? This is gorgeous. You guys, look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Joyce, can you please let us know what pattern you used for this? It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's really warm here today, you guys, so I'm not gonna put it on. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be my winter, like walk around the house and stay warm in it. It's gorgeous. Joyce, thank you so, so much. I so appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, so for those of you who watched my last Wings update video, for those of you who are new here, Wings is a domestic violence organization based here in Chicago. Um, and we are we were we were collecting granny squares so I could put them together and make twin size blankets. Um, well, we have someone here on YouTube who went above and beyond. Actually, most of you are going above and beyond. Um, she was gonna make squares and send them and then she decided that she was just gonna put them together and send me the blanket. So that fabulous person is Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter. And um, if you guys wanna see the blanket that she sent, um, I opened it up in the last Wings Update video. But in the box, which was, yes, this huge, she also sent some other things. She sent some treats for my daughter, whose nickname is Carrots. And you'll understand this, um, my daughter has severe uh, food allergies. She's allergic to peanuts. She can't have anything made in a facility with peanuts um, or tree nuts. Um, and Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter, knows that. And she sent her a bunch of treats that were made in a peanut-free facility. So I'm going to show you what she sent. <laughs> so she sent this. And she says, for carrots, looky, looky. And you guys see that? Peanut-free. Um, Carrots already knows these were in the box and she has been chomping at the bit asking me to make a video so she could have these. Um, it's made in a peanut free facility, you guys. Um, some of my Canadian friends have already sent us some of these Smarties. They are like M&M's, um, like amplified. They're really, really good. And my daughter cannot have regular M&M's because they're made in a facility with peanuts. And they also actually say on the label, may contain peanuts. Um, she also can't have Kit Kats here in the United States because they're made um, 
in a facility with peanuts. So she's so excited that she will actually get to try a Kit Kat and I'm really excited for her too. So now Debbie didn't just send one, she sent two. <laughs> She also sent another box of these Smarties. Um, so this is awesome. I am gonna have to be sending you lots of uh, money so that we can keep the habit going over here. <laughs> All right, so then she also sent me a bag um, of stuff like this and it says, for Rose, some of my favorites. So we're gonna check it out and see what Debbie sent. I can have nuts, okay? So let's see, she's got Kinder Bueno Minis. Crispy wafers with milk chocolate and hazelnut filling. And then, oh, blueberries, almonds, and hazelnuts. Thank you. Oh, there's another one. And then cherry, can, oh, sweet and sour cherries. Yum! Debbie, thank you so much. Thank you for the candy for me and for carrots. And you guys, she didn't stop there. She sent another bag and I have not opened this yet. Oh, there is a card. Look at this, you guys. And it says, this is just for being you. Oh, P.S. I had to add some bread to the blanket. I just had to. So if you guys go back and look at the blanket that Debbie sent, um, she did have to add a little bit of bread to it and it turned out beautifully. So thank you, Debbie. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Debbie, you did not have to do this. You guys, look at this yarn. Oh, it is purple. Yes, it is. Let's see if we could see where it's from. It is from Shellridge Yarns. Can you guys see that? Shellridge Yarns. It's called Windmere Bulky. Color is Iris, machine wash, cold, gentle, lay flat to dry. Uh, it has a website here, www.shellridge.com. -E it is 80% superwash, 20% nylon, hand dyed, a number five bulky, 185 grams, 225 yards. <gasps> wow! Holy mackerel! How come you guys find all the good stuff? That is so gorgeous. Debbie, you did not have to do that, but boy, do I love you for doing that. <laughs> Thank you so much. You really did not have to send yarn or candy or anything. The blanket was more than enough. So thank you so much for the treats and the yarn. We really, really appreciate it and we love you a lot. Thanks. Okay, you guys, this next bag is from Emmy Phillips and she is from Minnesota. And I actually opened this up thinking it was for wings, but it's not. Wait till you guys see what's in here. Yeah, can you see that? Okay. So look at the adorable card. Oh, Emmy, you're so sweet. She says, hi, Rose and Carrots. I hope this yarn is helpful for your help for your project. The dot to dot is for carrots. It is not hard, but fun to color. I hope she enjoys it. From your Minnesota neighbor and big fan, Emmy Phillips. Um, so she sent this adorable dot to dot book and yes, carrots will love that. Um, oh yeah, I might have to do one or two in there too. And then she sent more of the lavender yarn. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I really, I really, really appreciate that, you guys. Now, someone did have the sweet treat and I did pay her for it because I asked and I wanted to pay you guys for the yarn, um, but the rest of you decided not to take my money. So um, I do have some of the sweet treat coming. I think there's two skeins coming. So this will help too. Thank you so, so much, Emmy. I really, really appreciate it. So this next package and the one after that kind of relate to each other. Um, I saw on Instagram, uh, Crystal from Ricola Crochet and Stuff. I will link her in the description box down below. And she posted on Instagram that she made a little amigurumi. And the amigurumi was absolutely adorable. Now, I stink at making amigurumi. And the amigurumi that she made reminded me of another YouTuber here. And I asked her if it was for sale and she ignored me. <laughs> Crystal ignored me and the reason she ignored me is because she was already sending it to me 
and that was not my intent. I wanted to buy it. Oh, you guys, you drive me nuts. So she sent this bag, and in the bag is a bag, and do you see what's on the bag? It's a flamingo. Can you guess what's in the bag? If you guys follow Crystal, you know what's in the bag. Okay, so <laughs> if this is not the most adorable little flamingo you've ever seen, and it's getting blown out because it's like hot, hot pink. Um, this is so stinking cute. Look at his nose, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this should be your first clue. I'm sending this to someone. By the way, I did wind up paying Crystal for it um, against her wishes. <laughs> so, um, so Crystal, I did pay for this, but it's only because I wanted to send it to someone on her behalf because I knew she wouldn't, I don't know, I, I didn't think she would take my money if she knew that's where it was going, but she had to take money for it anyway. Anyway, so this little adorable flamingo, she sent this to me and then I turned around and paid her. I don't think what it's worth, but I did give her some money. And then in the bag, she all, oh, there's a card. Oh my God, I'm so terrible. I should have like read the card, right? <laughs> there it is, like Sunday and coffees and you. Oh, I like Sundays, coffee, and you. Um, I like Sundays and you, Crystal, but I don't drink coffee. <laughs> so, so she says to Rose, I hope you are keeping well. I know you like this, so I wanted to send you a little gift. My husband always laughs at me because every time you comment on my stuff, I kind of fangirl. Oh my gosh, I fangirl for you too. I love your channel and always love seeing you in all your makes. Take care, Crystal. And uh, she is Crystal's crochet and stuff. She says, P.S. Say hi to carrots. And she also sent me some yarn. Crystal, you didn't need to send me any yarn. And I'm so glad I was able to pay you for this. And your name will be going on the card uh, to who it's getting gifted to. So she sent me five of these Festival, Festival Mix Fibers. It's a polyester acrylic made in Turkey. Oh, from Premier Yarns. Oh, I think these were in those like uh, mystery bags or something but they're beautiful. Thank you so much, Crystal, for sending those. Okay, so the next item I actually ordered, and it is going to go with the flamingo to this special person here on YouTube. Okay, so this little box of yarn, you guys, um, I don't know about you, but I follow quite a few yarn companies on Instagram, and I've been following this one yarn company called Knit Circus, K-N-I-T-C-I-R-C-U-S. And I have been looking at um, some really gorgeous yarns that they've been showing on their Instagram. And one really caught my eye. So when I show you the color, this might be the trigger for you guys to know who this yarn is gonna go to. So I bought this as a gift to go with the flamingo to this special person. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's getting so blown out, you guys. Okay, so this is uh, the Knit Circus Ringmaster 100% Superwash Merino Yarn. It is a number four. Uh, it is called High Voltage Speckles. And so um, there you go. So it's got like a little bit of purple in it. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. It's got like some green and it is, it is bright. So um, I don't know if you guys have a guess on who this yarn and the flamingo are going to leave me a comment down below and we'll see if, uh, if we can have a contest and see who can figure out who this is going to. So Crystal, thank you again for sending the flamingo and this is gonna be going out in the mail in the next day or two. So I also got my monthly subscription for Southern Skeins and this is called the Not Sock Yarn Club because you guys, I have a lot of sock yarn and I don't make socks <laughs> and I haven't used any of it. Um, and Laura from Mad Mimi Crochet actually got me started on this and I bought a three month subscription. So this is my second month. So we're gonna see what's in the bag. So this is really adorable. I think you can also get like a box from them, like um, a box club, but the, it, this month it came in this adorable little llama bag. Oh my gosh, how cute. So let's see what we have. It says, what's inside? Alpaca My Yarn Colorway Sport Weight Yarn, 100 grams, 220 yards, 100% baby alpaca. 
and it says this base is feltable. You also get an alpaca stitch marker, project bag, and tea bag. So let's see. There is the tea, and there is the stitch marker. Cute! And here is the yarn. Oh my gosh. It is so pretty, you guys. So there is the southern skeins. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> Oh my gosh, for some reason, the regular alpaca, like if there's alpaca in a, in another yarn, I don't know, it irritates me, but this is so soft. You guys see the colors? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm very pleased with this subscription club so far. I have one more month to go on this. So, so there is the Southern Skeins. Now, I'll put a link for Southern Skeins and Mary Maxim down below. But I don't have any affiliated links, you guys. So if you go there, it's just it's just so that it's helpful for you to to go straight there. Um, I don't get any, no, I don't get nothing. I'm not affiliated with anybody. Okay, I have one more happy mailbox. All right, so this box is so heavy. So I have been talking with Jenny from Jenny's Arts and Crafts, and um, you guys should definitely go check out her channel. She is so talented as well. It's crazy. So I guess um, she knows that I'm making stitch markers and she asked if I wanted some extra beads and charms. And I said, yes, uh, but you have to let me pay you for them. <sighs> she wouldn't take my money, but I, uh, I said, let me at least pay for the shipping. So she let me pay for the shipping on these. So this whole thing is filled with like beads and charms. So I'm gonna show you what she sent. All right, so she typed me up a letter and it says, Dear Rose, I've been meaning to send you this stuff for a while. I actually hardly made a dent in my stash. Ack! I crammed a lot of things together so it will be a bit of a treasure hunt. Anyhow, I hope you can make good use of it and I look forward to seeing what you make from Jenny. And she is from Jenny's Arts and Crafts. Um, and she does other stuff other than crochet too. Like she's a coin collector, so she finds some really cool things. Um, and I'm trying to think of what else. I know she's like a huge blanket maker. So, um, okay, so she stuffed these with tissues, you guys, but she sent me two of these containers, like completely jam-packed with beans. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much fun to see, to like dig through. And then she sent another container with beads. So there's two containers filled with beads. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Wait, and then she sent an entire bag of charms, which is gonna be so much fun to go through. And then another huge bag of charms. And she says, believe it or not, all of these charms relate to BBC Sherlock. Okay, so any Sherlock fans, let me know if you're interested and I will try and get some um, sets together out of this. Wait, and then she sent all of this. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much fun to go through. Looks like beads and findings and there's more charms in here. Oh, there's like little cars, how cute. Jenny, thank you so much for sending that. Um, if, if you want any more money for these, please let me know. I know how expensive this stuff is. So, okay, so Jenny, thank you again. So that's all I have for Happy Mail. So now you guys, I want to show you a blanket that I actually finished. So the blanket that I wanna show you, I actually did a test pattern uh, for someone here on YouTube that you guys all know and love. His name is Fiber Spider. And it is his latest pattern that he released for a blanket called the Chevron Virus. Um, so what I used for the Chevron Virus is the Premier Sweet Roll. And the color on this is called Gelato Pop. And I used almost three full cakes of that. And then I also used Red Heart Super Saver and the color is called Orchid. And I used about three and a half of that color. And I was trying to actually see if I could donate it to Wings, but it's not long enough or wide enough. And I'm not sure how to make it wider. So instead what I'm gonna do is I have a friend whose daughter is getting married, I'm gonna gift it to her. So let me show you the blanket, you guys. I'll just show you part of it because it's super tall. <laughs> um, but this is the Chevron Virus blanket from Fiber Spider. And I love it. Once you get the hang of it, you are all good to go. 
but I just love, love, love this pattern. So I did take a picture of it on my bed, so I'm gonna insert that picture here. It just was a little dark. Um, you guys can see how bright the colors are, um, but here's the picture. So now what I want to do is, and I feel really awkward about this, but I want to show you guys or do like an Etsy shop update. I know a lot of YouTubers here will do that, like say if they make bags um, or whatever, they will have an Etsy shop update and show you what they're actually putting up in their shop. So I'm just going to show you some stitch markers that I've made recently. And just to let you know, they are up for sale in my Etsy shop and you can buy them right now. So I'm just going to hold them up so you can see them. Oops. Okay, so there's one. Now this, a couple people have already ordered. Let's see if I can show you. Yes, that is Jack Skellington. And yes, someone already ordered some for uh, our friend who we all know and love. Her name is Z. <laughs> Hopefully she's gotten it already. So let's see. Um, they don't want to stay like in the right order. Okay, so here we go. So there's some Batman stitch markers. I'm loving those. I have some red slippers from The Wizard of Oz. You guys can see those. There you go. I have some kitty cats. A lot of people ask me for kitty cat stitch markers. So I do have a couple pairs of kitty cat stitch markers in my shop seashells, dragonflies, little tassels. If you are into angels, there are some angels. There are some turtles. Someone was also asking for owls, so there are some owls. There we go. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I have a music lover in my house. She doesn't crochet though, but <laughs> there's some music ones. I saw these, you guys, and I had to have them. Do you see what those are? Sewing machines. Oh my gosh, how adorable. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen these. These are the Harry Potter charms. I also have um, these, which are, I think are really, really pretty. Here are some fruity ones. I know that's like they get kind of twisted on there. Anyone into TARDIS from Doctor Who? There's a TARDIS. Uh, if you like skulls, I've got a couple different colors on that. If you like the flash, there's some flash. I don't know about you guys, I like to travel and unfortunately we cannot travel now, but you can have stitch markers that have airplanes and all that other stuff on them. Uh, a lot of people were interested in these. These are the Wonder Woman stitch markers. I do have quite a few varieties of that. Uh, puzzle pieces for autism. I also had quite a few people ask for those. There's some seashells. I do have more than what I'm showing you up in my shop, you guys. I'm just trying to make it quick. If you're like plain Jane and you like the blues, I don't know about you guys, but I love my paw prints. I love the doggy that's attached to my paw prints over here. Here's some more seashell ones. I've got some cameos. I like those. Those are kind of old fashioned. Um, also have some Southwestern themed ones. There's a couple more styles than that too. There is chocolate and caffeine. I don't know what could be better than chocolate and caffeine, you guys. <laughs> there are some dragonflies. And finally, what I'm gonna show you last is the Tree of Life stitch markers. 
So if you guys are interested in any of those, please check out my Etsy shop. Now a fair warning, if you order more than one set, for some reason Etsy isn't combining the shipping, but you will see a refund pop through after I send you the tracking number. So, all right guys, that's it. It's Tuesday. I'm on vacation this week, so I guess I had plenty of time to talk to you. <laughs> so I am going to put all my goodies away, and um, that's it. I am hoping to have a wings update video for you guys coming up this week. And also, for those of you who have stuck around for this long, um, I think we hit over 9,000 subscribers here. I don't call you guys subscribers, though. I call you friends. They should change that in there. Um, so look for um, a giveaway. We have to do a giveaway, don't we? I mean, 9,000 is a big number. So come on over and join the Facebook group. Check me out on Instagram. Go check out all the stitch markers that I have. And I hope you guys have a great week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.